at work. A report out today suggests that using the pound without a formal currency union could strengthen Scotland's financial system. The economic think tank, the Adam Smith Institute, says that not having a lender of last resort would mean banks would have to be more risk averse. Our economic correspondent, Coletta Smith, joins us now from the newsroom. Coletta, what's the thinking behind this? Well, Sally, firstly, the Institute think that the Westminster parties may well continue to refuse to form a currency union. And if they do, after a yes vote, then it's perfectly possible for Scotland to just use the pound anyway. We've printed our own money here for centuries, and as long as the banks have enough pounds in their vaults to back those notes up, then they could just continue to do that. But the Institute also goes a step further in saying that actually Scotland could benefit from this kind of a system. They say if the banks here knew that there was no one to bail them out, then they'd have to behave a lot more sensibly. Here's the report's author. Scotland already uses the pound and there's nothing stopping it from continuing to use the pound. And what's really interesting about the Scottish system is that banks still issue their own notes, which are basically promissory notes on pound reserves, so they could continue doing that. When we look at countries that use, other, um, that use a similar system like Panama, Ecuador, El Salvador, they have very, very stable banking systems because their banks know they can't get a bailout from the central bank. So is this a boost, Coletta, for the Yes campaign? Well, Sally, it certainly adds another layer of credibility to their argument that Scotland could just use the pound anyway. It's interesting to see this kind of support coming from the Adam Smith Institute, which as a right-of-centre think tank wouldn't necessarily be a natural SNP supporter. But the Scottish Government say they're sticking to their plan A of a formal currency union. The Better Together campaign say that following in the footsteps of Panama isn't something that Scotland should be aiming for. Thanks very much, Coletta. The former site of Aberdeen's